many times as a groomer, I see people who trim up here when their dogs have fur in their eyes. I want to show you how not to do that. So your dog's hair grows from under, Alan, take a moment. Okay, there we go. And for someone, and maybe not. So you'll see that the hair comes from underneath and goes up into his eyes under here. And then most of it is actually on the side. If your dog's bangs are in, in their eyes, chances are very high that it's coming from underneath. So I have some tools, recommendations for this. A comb, curved shears, thinning shears, and a cordless clipper. I like using a cordless clipper, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. This is the Andis Pulse Li5, which is really great. I actually like to use all of these tools, but if you just did a little thinning shear, that would be fine too. Make sure your dog is on a high up surface. I like to put them on a yoga mat if I'm doing this at home. Um, it's helpful to have a person to help you, like give treats while you're doing this. And the more you do this, the more used to it you'll be and the more used to it your dog is gonna be. Option number one is to just wiggle your shears in like this and chomp with thinning shears, just like this. See how he's protesting? That's okay, I'm gonna let him have a moment and I'm gonna guide him back. You can also hold onto your dog's chin fluff and I'm just going to chomp, chomp, chomp until everything is clean and clear. This is one option. And oh, let me get this little piece. And so that already opened up the eye a little bit and it's still heavy on the side. It's honestly not bad right here. Another option is to use clippers. I'm gonna do a 15. If your dog's not used to this, you might wanna use thinning shears. I'm just gonna use my blade to get the corner of the eye. And you can see I push back with my finger. It's to kind of get him used to the touch. This is good for a shorter look. And then because his hair grows up, I'm just going to go up with the grain and just kind of scoop, scoop up like this. And I wanna make sure not to go too high up. So he has really beautiful eyelashes and I love to expose them and show them. So I'm just going to push everything back. I'm holding onto his face and I'm gonna wiggle my blade right here and chomp down. And really, I just wanna make it so that you can see his eye from the side. So the key is to just be able to see the side of the eye. So I'm gonna push everything back and use my curve shears to just get anything that hangs over the side of the eye like this. And I'm standing on the side of him, just like this. And now you can see I've already opened up a lot of the eye, so it's not as heavy. And now I just sort of finesse with my thinning shears. And I'm focusing on getting everything from this, off from the side of the eye so that you can see it from the side. He also has some lashes hanging in front of his eyes, so I'm just gonna get those, just like that. So I didn't even touch this yet, and this is the first thing everybody goes to, but it's really all about the, the front corners and the side. Focus on the corners of the eyes and the outside of the eyes, and then you will open up your dog's bang. So he'll like lift his head up to try to get out of my grasp, and I just don't let go. I don't pull down, but I just kind of ride it, ride the wave. That's it. Beautiful.